Good morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. <laughs> it is Super Bowl Sunday. You know what that means. Yep. This is the Brook Art Project. We're going to Magic Kingdom. We're going to Disney World. <laughs> we are going to Magic Kingdom for a little. We're doing like a little crazy stuff going on. Relaxingly crazy because right now we're going to Magic Kingdom for a couple hours. But we've been missing the DVC lounge for literally over a month now. So then we're going to go hop over to Epcot to enjoy the DVC lounge and then we're gonna go home and get some snacks and treats and drinks and go over to Katie's house to watch the Super Bowl. What a day. Chicken yes. Little and Abby. Thank you so Doing much, ladies and gentlemen. And now, we fly, Rose, I'm home again, Rose, to get the sun back in my sky. You're trapped. One, these two are adorable. And two, have you realized what today's date is? 2319! And look at these three people in their 2319 Disney costume looking good. Cute. Look at this beautiful, it's a beautiful day. Oh, it's a cute photo. Beautiful day. And Sarah killed the face, fast, the face, the fast pass game again. By all, I only got one. It was for Peter Pan's flight. We literally got it like 10 minutes ago. Ten four minutes. right now. Right. So our original plan today was to get here super early, like 10, 11 a.m. Then leave around one to go to Epcot to just go bask in the DVC lounge. We uh, were in need of like a good grocery shop, so Sarah was editing this. We, we slept in a little bit, but deserved. We need it for our health. And then Sarah edited and I grocery shopped and got everything ready. Stop so close to starting the ride. If it shuts down. At any time. Pause the picture. Please remain seated for your own safety. Alright, so I didn't even realize until we got in the line that like, oh, Peter Pan's back. Right, like, it was under reefer. reefer. Like, I don't even think it was down for that long, but it had a big wall in front of it. And so when we were on it, we really realized that like, the refurb was so visible. And I love when a ride goes, an attraction goes through a refurb and you it's either a sign that the refurb was really successful when you can see what they added or changed, mm -hmm. or it's a sign of how sick and twisted we are that we go on the ride a lot because we yeah. know all the little details. We noticed so many different things. Well, the first thing we noticed was just that the lights were really bright, and usually it's really hard to film Peter Pan, but it was awesome. Like the footage, like, like of us going into the nursery and going through London, was really really like, cool. All of the area lights and the spotlights were like brighter, more clean and crisp yeah. and focused. The first thing that we actually saw was the light, like a red light was on Smee and Captain Hook yeah, when he says fire Mr. Yeah. Smee. And then we also realized that there was a rope on Hangman's tree. So the little, I don't know why they chose that to be the theme. But there's not, it's not a noose. It's no, 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 it, but it is a rope. rope. But it's like, again, like just some campfire. detail that like we, never like that wasn't there before that we noticed it looked and like they cleaned up the painting and the spotlights mm -hmm. on the mermaid lagoon mm -hmm. and then also like right when you turn to like skull rock the water had like a projection on it of like waves to make it look wavy yeah so the light was like was so cool um and then again like the painting on like the pirate ship scene and everything was really really nice. Yes, but when it came to the pirate scene where like all the kids are captured and then mm -hmm. you turn the corner and see Tic Tac Rock and then Peter is like triumphant and frees everybody, all of their faces beautifully lit because they, they added like colored spotlights below them. Yeah. So it was shining up at them 
rather than down, which I think it used to be, and which caught a lot of shadows everywhere. Yeah, and it was just like, looks like really Very good, yeah. really crisp and clean. And then the last thing I noticed was um, inside the ship at the end of the ride, you could see like lights on flickering, like again, just like little details that like really made it look crisp and new. Good job, Disney. I approve. That was nice. What are we doing now? We got a Pirate's Fest day. For right now or later? For now. What I'm doing is just like a quick tip, like because we're only going to be here a little bit of time, I'm making one fast pass at a time. So the second we bump, I can look for a fast pass now Sooner. instead of it being like hour, hour, hour. Good thing. What an unplanned thing. We're here so little before 5 p.m. that we forgot the 3 o'clock parade. We forgot that it was so close to the 3 o'clock parade. if you've been the Grand Marshal before. Oh, I want to be so bad. <laughs> be the greatest Did you know life. that you get a special spot to watch the parade then, right at the finish finish line? Right at the end line? The grand finale? Yeah. Can it's we, like right in front of the fire department. How do you become a Grand Marshal? How come we don't know this? So that, it's been a long time since that prayer was on our vlog, but if you remember, I wasn't there that day. It was Sarah and Joy, Beth and Lucy who saw it. So it's been like extra long since I saw that parade. So Sarah thankfully did, and I appreciated like most of the recording of that. I was just like soaking it up, waving, screaming. I, if you ever watch a parade with us, I am like almost inappropriately loud. You know when it comes to how when ridiculous Cinderella I am went when by, I scream at you characters. used to scream at Cinderella uh, I know. in Celebrated Dream Come It's not the same right? now that she's like shares that I feel bad for the other princesses right, on that multi-princess float. But I just had that like memory. We don't often have a structure to our vlogs, but I love when we do. And today we kind of have a more formal, formal structure. It's a three-part vlog. First part up Magic Kingdom, second part Epcot, third part Super Bowl. And this is the last chapter. Of part one is our little trip down the Castillo de Moro. It's cotton and sparrow enough and a fortune in gold. Run up your white flag, you scurvy scum, and bring me cotton jack sparrow. Yo ho, yo ho, the pirates are A toast to pirates. Alrighty, sir, are you ready for Epcot? Yes. Your shirt says you're I ready for Epcot. I wore the shirt specifically for Epcot. <laughs> I want like, a Joffrey's and a DVC lounge, a little snack, Peru's World Showcase, have a good time. I'm you ready. got it. We made it to Epcot, Yay. and it's DVC lounge time. And I came to a realization, the weekend is kind of like DVC lounge day. And the amount of joy that it brings me, even though we just go sit on a chair in air conditioning, is the equivalent to what I consider like Stanley or Michael Scott from the office on pretzel day. <laughs> I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. Now we go far more to the DVC lounge than they have pretzel day, but, but I, it's the same feeling and love. 
All right, up in the lounge. Got myself a charger from the desk. Got myself my 72nd, 1,582 coffee, mm -hmm. if numbers make sense. And they just came by and got us, picked us up with some Cheez-Its. And then Sarah's doing some uh, online shopping. Why not? Um, duckies. Okay, phew. We were worried about their health. Oh, <laughs> they spooked me. They're prepping this. Yeah, I was about to say. It, it, looks, uh, it looks extra good. And extra ready. Well, they're just going to rip it all up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just, you know, the most beautiful sunset you've ever seen in your whole life. What? It's gorgeous yeah. out. Yeah, you almost just really tripped really bad. I really did. Almost face went <laughs> in the middle of the World Showcase. Like, We've been scouring. We're trying to find Figaro, but just as cool, we found Jiminy. We found out that all of the pavilions have paintings of the characters, like we've mentioned before. And so there's a couple we haven't seen quite yet. There's a lot that we haven't seen. I've only yeah. seen Timon and none. Pumbaa. Yeah, I've seen Timon and Pumbaa. Mushu. I saw. No, yeah, we saw Mushu. I saw a photo of the Aristocat of Abu. And I saw a photo of Abu. They're just like randomly. But like they could be around. all on the ground too. Yeah, and like Figaro's a cat, so like that makes sense. Alrighty, we gave up on Figaro. <laughs> we almost plowed through a small child just now. No, I think he almost plowed through us, but he was just right. very excited. But we stopped and like, like, he was- Like Spaceship Earth is above us. And he was like starry-eyed running towards Spaceship We stopped and the mom was like, I'm so sorry, we're new to this. And we're like, so I was like, no, it's like super exciting to be here in Disney. And yeah. she's like, yeah. <laughs> so we are headed home. Gonna hang out with Eve for like a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get our stuff ready. Yeah. Head over to Cadiz. It's like almost perfect yeah. timing because we're she gonna- She gets off work. And we get to go. We're gonna start watching the game a little later, like 30 minutes late, or an hour late. But it's starting to rain, so it's actually like yeah. good time to leave the park. Hi. So, put a comment down below what your favorite commercial was in the first two quarters up until the one minute and 35 second mark because that's when we started watching Super Bowl. Wait, it's almost half time already? Yeah. I found, like we brought the Fiesta dip which is just sour cream with ranch Fiesta dressing. Katie had this dish, so I put the chips in there. This is actually our bowl. And she had some salsa and then we got like, what are these called? Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies with chocolate and then like pecan tarts. And then I got a Funky Buddha IPA, so I love IPA hop gum. And then these are Voodoo Heat Zap's Potato Chips, which are like my favorite vinegary, even they get a little kick to it. This is like a photo finish. <laughs> we literally got here five minutes ago, and now it's halftime time. I know. Guess half time time. Pepsi is superior to Coke. What? I have no dogging spike. <laughs> I like, I'm just joking, I still like Coke. I like Fountain Coke and Pepsi. Who can even trust you? I like root, I like root beer. I love root beer's my favorite. And pot. cream soda. Like root, beer. root beer. It goes root beer, cream soda, Pepsi. You're trash. <laughs> you don't like pickles. Fireworks. Here we go. No, no, no way. What the heck is happening? What? That was just SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, I see that fire. Oh, drumline. <laughs> Yes, this is my jam! Katie says this is Tangled. <laughs> the halftime just ended. It was good. It was good, it was not. My favorite part was Spongebob. Spongebob was a key. Sarah said it was good, she enjoyed herself. I enjoyed myself too. It was not like... Like they tried to make a, like, a huge performance for the halftime. It wasn't that, I feel. But it was really good. You want to like a normal that, one. Peter, that was your guy. I know, a little John. The commercials mm -hmm. are starting, like the crazy commercials. Yeah, now I'm watching commercials, but I want to say last year during JT's halftime, I left it wanting to grow a beard out. Put a comment down below if you remember those like four <laughs> tragic weeks when I was trying to grow a beard. You're going to see them in the last in the, video Yeah, at the end. Year, if you click those, and I think I'm leaving this halftime wanting to get more tattoos. 
I've cut tattoo on my arm. He's gonna be Chicago like flag on my his, arm. Like GQ's sexiest man. Like, <laughs> he gets California Steve, across his chest. Me, that's Steve Orlando. Corral. That's Steve Corral, and he'll always be it. Super Bowl was. Boring. It was like a boring game, but like we won. So. We it's won. We. So just went up for like four seconds. <laughs> I feel like it was. Favorite worth it. commercial is the ordering. The Harrison Ford. Wait, no, Alexa. the Toy Story commercial. That doesn't For count. And that, <laughs> that's a trailer. Um, Are we signing up? No, we have to do two. We have to do two daily messages. Oh no. Calendar. Okay, say goodbye, Katie. <laughs> goodbye, Katie. Today is Peter's grandparents' 57th wedding anniversary. And let's do our daily message. We forgot yesterday. To love or have loved, that is enough. And ask nothing further. There is no other pearl to be found in the dark folds of life from Les Mis. And then the third is life is what happens while you're busy making other plans, John Lennon. Super busy day. Super awesome, super productive day. So this is our slumber party outro. Yeah. <laughs> um, let us know down below your favorite part of today's vlog. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>